Martina, the beautiful cockroach. The, a Cuban folktale. I'm going to start that over. The cockroach is starting over. Actually, I can do it after. Martina, the beautiful cockroach. A Cuban folk tale. Retold by Carmen Agraditi. Illustrated by Michael Austin. Martina Josefina Carolina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in old Havana with her big, lovable family. <clears throat> now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every senora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her una peñeta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. But Abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her un consejo increíble, some shocking advice. You want me to do what? Martina was aghast. You are a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one could be tricky. But, 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 but stammered Martina, how will spilling coffee on a suit of shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you'll know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina, the coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all Havana, from the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Moro Castle, was a buzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony under her family's many watchful eyes. Daintily, she sat down and crossed her legs and crossed her legs and crossed her legs. She didn't have long to wait. Don Gallo, the rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye on his reflection, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba, you really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wing. With that, he leaned forward and crooned. Martina Josefina Carolina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor? Right on cue, Abuela appeared with a quick glance at her grandmother. Martina nervously splattered coffee onto the rooster's spotless shoes. Oh my, she said with a quick, a mock dismay. I'm all feelers today. Kiki Ray! The rooster was furious. Clumsy cockroach, I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Martina was stunned. The coffee test had worked. A most humble offer, senor, she said coolly, but I cannot accept 
You are much too cocky for me. Don Cerdo, the pig, hoofed up next. His smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. What an imaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is it some new pig cologne? Oh no, senorita. It's the sweet aroma of my pigsty. Rotten eggs? Turnip peels? Stinky cheese? Don't Cerdo licked his chops and sang, Martina, Josefina, Carolina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina had already left in search of coffee. She wasted no time with the pig. Gronk, gronk, squealed Don Cerdo as he dabbed at the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy for my poor loafers. He is really quite a ham, thought Martina. Calm yourself, senor. I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, he snorted. When you are my wife, there will be no end to cleaning up after me. Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A most charming offer, senor. She said dryly, but I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. The pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Lagarto, the lizard, crept over the railing, his oily fingers brushed the little cockroaches. Lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak. I creep, he said, circling Martina. For some reason, this fellow really bugged her. I've had enough creeps for one day, said Martina. Adios! But I need you. Wait. The lizard fell on one scaly knee and warbled. Martina, Josefina, Carolina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina sighed. Let me see if there's any coffee left. This time, she wasn't taking any chances. Martina returned with two cups for the lizard. Psst. Psst, he spat. Don Lagarto was livid. He changed colors three times before he finally found his true one. And to think, he hissed, I was going to eat or marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a bread come drop. Food for thought, senor, Martina said, icily, but I must refuse. You are much too cold-blooded for me. When her grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cups, Martina was still fuming. I'm going inside, abuela. So soon? See, si. I'm afraid of whom I might meet next. Abuela drew Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at the tiny brown mouse and her cockroach heart began to beat faster. Tiki tin, tiki tan. Oh, abuela, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here all along. What do I do? Go talk to him and just be yourself. Martina handed Abuela her piñata and mantilla, then scurried down to the garden. The mouse was waiting. Tiki tan, tiki tan. Hola, hello. His voice was like warm honey. 
My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered shyly. I'm Martina, the beautiful cockroach. He finished for her. You think I'm beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. I know you are strong and good. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucoracha. Then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tiki tin, tiki tan. Martina, don't forget the coffee. It was Abuela. No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. See, Abuela? Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With the heavy heart, she reached for the cup. But Perez got there first. Quick as a mouse, he splashed ca Café Cubano onto Martina's shoes. Now the coffee was on the other foot. Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last, she'd found her perfect match. But she had to ask, how do you know about the coffee test, Perez grinned? Well, mi amor, my love, I too have a Cuban grandmother. The end.